if Jesus Christ is God, yes, He came down to teach a lesson. Yes, more than a lesson. Okay. He you came know to how many people, I. how many people we have in our scriptures that came down just like Jesus Christ, and we know He is God, Krishna. You've heard of Krishna before? Yes. He is God. He Krishna is not God. Unless you're born again, you will just live I as a sinner. I am born you as can't a help sinner. It. I was born as a sinner a thousand times. That is why you need. No, that's, uh, well, that, that's not. How can I be? How can I, how can I be born a sinner a thousand times? How can I be? Because reincarnation. You were born. You were born one day. You have a you have a day of birth, don't you? Yeah. Well, that is the day you were born. That's why I was now never born and I will never again. die. I was never born and I will never die. You will die. I will die, even I'm born again, but I will die body will if I die. stay. You will That's die. my point. You know why? It's a, it's a different kind of love. So he's explaining. No, I understand what he's explaining. He's trying to explain me love, and I'm telling you, I'm telling him according to my scriptures. Love is not defined as love. But my scripture is saying that. But what I'm so saying now that, it's just a battle of scripture versus scripture. Yeah, but then your scripture. I am against this. Do you know why? Why? Because, because our God says that you can learn through the scriptures, but I give it two paths: path of meditation and path of knowledge. If you meditate and clear your mind instead of going to scriptures, answers will naturally come from your subconscious, which is directly linked to the whole cosmos and God Himself. If you if you just know, if you follow your moral rights, and we call this Dharma, if you go along with life, if you don't go against life, you won't need the scriptures. Why? Because God has already sent you on a path that you cannot destroy from your previous life. So we believe in reincarnation. We believe that after you die, you go to a place, depending on how you sense, for example, Hitler. I believe he went to a very a very bad planet, and it's a hell planet. And, um, and he I, suffered, and he comes back again to try to see God again. Can I say something? What you're saying is very problematic. Because, really? yeah, what you're saying is problematic because, let me, let me explain to you. The original scriptures explains the beginning, it explains what has happened, and explains where we are. But so you see, does ours. But, but then, for what you're saying, your sounds very chaotic. No, how did, you how just did don't understand begin? it. So no, obviously, no. anything I wanna, you I wanna, don't. I want to know. How, how did yours you begin? Don't understand fully. How did yours begin? How does ours begin? Yes. How does creation begin? Okay. So God you? exists without his creation. Yes, God. Yeah, exists without God, his creation. God exists but who without is, his who is this God you're talking about? Who is he? The ultimate. The, the one who created. You cannot ask who is God. Why not? Why not? How can you ask Because the scripture God? tells us in the scripture says God is the spirit. If I ask so, God right so now, know, who is he? Will he answer? No, he has asked, already shown me who he is. He, look at you, look at me, look at the creation. So I hear what you're saying, but, so many, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but that, that's not God. I'm sorry, God only God himself. can tell you who he Yeah, but I say God himself. You see, this is why I said what you're saying is problematic because there is no beginning. I mean, you, you, you're almost like your God is all over the place. But I can say to you from the scriptures, is God, God omnipresent? Is, is he God is. Even okay, though he's so omnipresent, he he's not all over the place in that sense. For you, it's in that sense. Because when I say all over the place, I mean scattered. How what you're saying is very scattered because right. it's not structured. And give I'm me, give me you, evidence on why it's scattered. Tell me what I said. So far, you're saying, I told you. What you were saying, you were mentioning about consciousness and information coming down and how if everybody opens up, they can just tap in and you know get the energy. Didn't you mention that? So I'm saying to you that when you speak like that, yeah. you're generalizing, but you're not addressing the real issue because What's human beings have an issue. What's the issue? The issue, the greatest issue of human beings is called sin. Sin. Do you know what sin is? Yeah, of course. What is sin? It's going against God. That's what it is. That's good. So you understand that. Now, question is, how do we then ask out? The first question is, where did sin come from? Where does sin come from? Yes. Sin comes from uh, internal. It comes from the desire of wanting to go... To do are we born other with than it? Are we are we born with it? Is it something we develop? Is it? I mean, how do we? How do we see it? Okay, so there are four stages. We call it. Okay? There is the the, the golden age. Okay, humans were much taller. They had longer lives. Okay. There was uh, there's an age where sin starts to happen. So sin in our culture also has uh, an influence from the demons onto this world. Where did the demons come from? Where the demons come from? Yeah. They, they were all united, and when God created, 
they, there's demons that had this internal they were desire created, to they were created, they were created as demons. No, they were created normal. But they chose different paths in the spiritual world of God. And the spiritual world of God is infinite. I don't want to write it. So is there, is there, is there, a, is there a, a library or some information that tells us what you see? Exactly. Shrimad Bhagavatam. But you see, this is, this is part of what I, this is part of what I mentioned. The four Vedas, the Upanishads, the Quranas, part of what I mentioned that when you come to the original scriptures it tells you that like what you're saying for me what you're saying comes from what the scripture calls the tree of the knowledge of good and evil have you heard about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you see you see the scriptures mention the holy scriptures yes it tells you yes it tells you where everything started from it tells you where things are, and it tells you exactly where they are going. And then it tells you your part in it. That is why I said to you earlier on that Jesus Christ says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom. So it's about kingdoms. You know, it's mentioning that God has a kingdom. And that you have to be born yeah, again to enter. And so and so not everybody, not, not every human being is in the kingdom of God. And I was going to ask you, have you entered God's kingdom? Are you in his kingdom? Yes. Are you born again? So now what you're doing, right, is you're, you're giving the, you're, so you're taking the teachings of the Bible, right? And you're telling another religion that his religion cannot get him to the Lord. Right? You're saying that the, that the, that the Vedas, which not only came before your Bible, but has more knowledge than the Bible. It has more astrology, it has how, how every cell in your body works. That was what I was telling you. So this knowledge, right, it's not only coming from the, so spirituality and science come together in Hindu, okay? And this Hindu path gives you all the paths to God. And what the, the path you're talking about is the path of devotion, which I also follow myself. The path of devotion is to find love in God, right? And Jesus is the tool for you to find the love of God so you don't sin again. See, whether I follow the Bible or not, I know that my soul so I know if I'm getting closer to God or I'm not getting closer. Would you agree that a normal human being who hasn't even who hasn't even uh, known the essence of God, would he know that he, he himself is more evil or good? It's a natural thing for a human being to realize if he's good or not. No? I don't know if he's good. He's a Rafi. My greatest thing appeal to you is that you need to be born again. Yes. So what's this being born again? Because I'm already here. Good. That is what I want to explain to you. That from the scriptures, yeah, the reason why we need to be born again is because inside us there is a contrary nature. Like there is a nature that is different from God. We have a, like for example, we have a seed of evil in us. Every human being is born with it. You know? It wasn't like that in the beginning. But it happened. And, 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 and then it, it, no, no, so it happened at one time. It seemed happen at the same point. Yeah? And now that is why we need to be born again. We began in God's family. We went out of God's family. To, to born again is to come back into God's family. And only Jesus Christ is the one who is awake. You can't go any other way. You can't do any other religion. And, I, and I'm not, I, I, I kind of respect what people believe. But I know that there is only one truth. That is Jesus Christ. You get the one I'm saying. And so, I'm saying that to you. That's why I say, are you born again? Because you need to be born again. Because if you're not born again, for what the scripture says, so, so you will die and go again, to hell. Okay, so so this this desire that to fight against God that yes. you talk about that I need to be born again for. Uh, how again. come? How come I can just go against it myself with my own? Because it's in your blood. It's in, to but can, but can it wasn't like that. It, can you go against it even today by your own free will? You can't help it. No, yes or no? You my, can't point help. Is, my point. My so, point is so that you can't. You're born. As a sinner, unless you're born again, you will just live I as a agree. sinner. I am born you can't as a help sinner. It. I was born as a sinner a thousand years. That is why you need. No, that, well, that, that's not, how can I be? How can, I, how can you be born a sinner a thousand years? 
How can that be? Because reincarnation. You were born. You were born one day. You have a day, you have a day of birth, don't you? Yeah. Well, that is the day you were born. That's why I was now never born, and I will never again. die. I was never born, and I will never die. You will die. I will die. Even I'm born again, but I will die. This body will if die. I stay. You will not That's die. my point. The body so will the soul die. Is eternal, yes? Yeah, but the soul will go the soul to hell or be with God. What will happen to you? You could take your soul in your own hands. And God will allow you as long as you don't sin. But that's not true. See, all this, See, your scriptures all this, all say this, this, but my scripture says otherwise. But, 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 but my concern for you is that you need to be born again. I am. If I, if I live Why, well, you want to go to hell? Is that what you're saying? You want to go to hell? <laughs> Even in hell, I will be praising God. So if God sends me to hell, it will be a lesson for but, me. But that is a deception. No, it's not. It is a deception. Let me tell you something. The Listen, chief master God, deceiver is here to God. deceive people. Yes. The sun is in my eyes, so I want to, I want to tell this one. There is no... There is not one person... Yes. But Jesus is God. If Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ is God, yes, He came down to teach a lesson. Yes, more than a lesson. Okay. He you came know to how save many you and people, I. how many people we have in our scriptures that came down just like Jesus Christ, and we know He is God. Krishna, you've heard of Krishna before? Yes, He is God. He is not God. See. Now, let me just tell you from our scriptures, yes. okay? Stop just okay. stop trying okay. to say I'm no, because I know you say no. Okay. I yeah. know that. Okay. I'm just trying to prove your point that how I see Jesus. Okay. So I do believe that he had divinity in sin. I believe all these people have divinity in sin. But the utmost form of God is the one who sits in that world. And that God is the most forgiving, the most loving, and the most passionate God. You go through, you don't need anybody. But if you are just conscious enough, the gift you, you don't gave need you, anybody. No, you don't need You anybody. need Jesus. The gift, the gift that he gave you, your own free will can your Jesus own Christ. free will. Because without Jesus your Christ, you will die will. and go to hell. Your own you see, free the knowledge will. you have. Is coming from the tree this is pointless of the knowledge this is pointless. of the evil. This I've been listening to you. But this is I've been listening to you. Yeah, because I, you don't want to hear. No, but I know you, what you're going to say. And oh, you, you don't know. know what tell I'm going to say. Tell me what I'm going to say. That Jesus Christ is the only way. And that if I find you any believe, other okay, way. You, you believe that? No, of course I don't. But God is infinite. There's infinite that, ways to heaven. Then heaven. you will die God, and go to hell. See, because you're sick. Because isn't this sinful? Didn't yes, Jesus please. teach non-violent and, and not, not... Am I being violent? Did Jesus not walk away? Did no, 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 Jesus not no, walk away from you. the sinners? Yeah, but I'm saying to you. Because he put it in the hands of the Father, no? He put all their problems in the hands of the Father. When he was getting crucified, when he was when he was getting You don't even believe what you're saying. I do believe that Jesus was teaching God. You will acknowledge him as Lord and Savior. I don't I don't believe he's the Lord and Savior. But he is. No, the Lord and Savior is the one God. You need the blood of Jesus to wash away your sins. Nothing else. What's your name? Raphael. Raphael is nice to meet you. But I, you need to be born again. All right. Like, I, I, I was born and again. Many times. Right. You need to be born again. I was speaking earlier on to Raphael, and Raphael is full of knowledge, full of so much information from the universe. He even begins to define God as, you know, part of the universe. But you see, that is why we have the scriptures to tell us the truth. And if you understand anything, you will know that the knowledge we have has come from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When Adam and Eve ate from that tree, what happened? Explosion of knowledge. But it's bringing death. And so people think there are many ways. In Hinduism, you can believe what you like. But Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. And unfortunately, as I spoke to Raphael, I wanted to get across to him, but he wouldn't listen. You know, it's interesting. He wanted to share his knowledge with me. But once I mentioned Jesus as Lord, he didn't want to know. So... I appeal to anyone who listens to what I'm saying. Everybody needs to be born again. Because if you're not born again, you cannot see God's kingdom. And if you're not born again, you cannot enter God's kingdom. Once you're born again, you see the kingdom. Once you're born again, you enter the kingdom. And once you become part of the kingdom, you live a powerful life in Jesus Christ. God bless you.